Good morning. Um, I thought this morning I'd go through um, the hows and whys of um, the legalities of chopping trees down. Um, since the last video was about burning the stumps. Um, in New South Wales, um, there is a thing called the 1050 rule. And that is a piece of rural fire service legislation that allows you to chop down trees um, if they're within 10 metres of a habitable dwelling. Um, now, the first thing you need to do is establish whether your property um, falls into the 1050 rule. Um, and to do that, you just go onto the RFF's website, um, search 1050. It'll take you to a mapping system, which you can then put in your address and it will tell you whether you're inside the 1050 zone or not. If you're not, then unfortunately this um, doesn't apply to you and you'll have to find some other avenues to illegally take down a tree. But fortunately for us here, um, we are in the zone, so um, I was able to apply the rule. So the rule is pretty simple, as I said, um, you, it means that you can take down trees within 10 metres of a habitable dwelling. Now a habitable dwelling is a dwelling that people live in, so it doesn't apply to sheds or other outbuildings. It has to be a, a dwelling that people live in. So all you have to do is take a note of when you searched later on in case people question it, and then obviously measure the trees, um, distances from the house. Um, as you can see, this stump here is well within 10 meters of the house there's the house there and these other patches here where stumps were and I've burned them out and since filled them in they were well within 10 meters as well all right so we'll move around the back here and um, there's obviously more trees around the back here um, that stump there was obviously within 10 meters that tree there this side of the fence is actually within 10 meters but we decided not to remove that one because as you can see it is leaning away from the house. The canopy, if it does fall, is probably gonna take it away from the house. So we thought that would be okay to leave that one there. I'm not a tree hater. I'd like to keep them if I can, but these were just way too close to um, retain. As you can see, there's a stump there. As you can see, there's the house, well within 10 meters. And the same with these, where these stumps were here and here and a tree up there. So all you have to do is just go around and measure them make sure they're within 10 meters if they are remove them if you're in the 1050 zone now for other trees that were removed which were further than 10 meters from the house you then have to apply to the council for permission now fortunately we are in the Wool and Dilly council here and so their process is a bit easier a bit more streamlined than other councils that I could mention um, so it's just a matter of making an application submitting a plan, some photos of the trees you want removed, and paying a fee, obviously, because nothing's free in this life, and submitting it to council. Um, we got a response within three to four weeks. A uh, council officer came out, examined the trees that we wanted to remove, gave the okay to all of them, apart from this one here. He couldn't find a reason that he could uh, give us permission to remove that one, so that one had to stay. But the others, the white stumps that were here and further on down there where the other little metal bin is, he was happy for us to remove. He even said there's a couple of dead trees here as well, and he was happy for us to remove those as well, but I'm not keen on moving, removing those at this point. There's no need, they're not endangering the house or anything. There's a dead tree there. And he said if we wanted to remove that, all we had to do was just flick him a photo and he would give us um, an email authority to remove that. So um, there you go. Um, so we got a written determination. Um, I think the whole process took about four or five weeks, which is pretty quick. Um, other councils, you know, you could be waiting months. So um, yeah, that's, that's what you do.